Hi there, this is exercise 11c. We're going to look at a more integration by substitution. But now we these are examples where you end up having to do a double substitution. And actually, the ones here, they're not doing these so much, but I just like this. I, I just do it. This is what we end up with all the time. We get this in this du. We, we start off with some integration with respect to x we change it into an integration with respect to u and that's what we're trying to do today again so um, here's an example find the exact value of this um, integral now notice this is a definite integral this time um, and un unlike ones we've seen in the past so that might make us change our method slightly um, I want to make this thing the u so I'm going to say u equals the 1 plus x cubed the more complicated thing the thing I've got to raise to a dodgy power so really this is the integral from 1 to 2 of x squared u now this is on the bottom so really it's u to the minus 1 and I want to write dx but I can't write dx so I'm trying to get rid of the x and make them use so this is where we we've learned to differentiate du by dx equals and du by dx is simply 3x squared and dx by du um, sorry, dx equals, um, they switch places, and it equals du over 3x squared. Now what you'll notice here is, this is exactly the type we want, it's the integral from, I'm going to change this slightly, so I'm going to write this du over 3x squared here, and the x squareds cancel, but that makes it become u to the minus 1 over 3 to u, and the fact that it's got these limits now now remember these limits refer to values of x this is x equals one x equals two but we've got rid of that we've got this u thing now so really i need to find a new limit so when x equals two and x equals one i'm going to find what u is equal to and the form i shall use is one plus x cubed so x cubed when it's two is eight u is nine when x cubed is when x is 1, that gives me 1 plus 1 is 2. So I think now I've got really from 2 to 9. This is what I meant with slight adjustments because of the limits. So add a power. Now u to the minus 1 is, okay, well, I suppose it's on the bottom. It's really going to give me a log. Hopefully you can see that. It's going to give me log u. Because that's really like 1 over u. And it's got 3 on the bottom, so really... It's 1 over 3u, I suppose. And um, when I do this, I end up with a third. Between 2 and 9. And let's chuck 9 in. So that's a third of log of uh, 3, 9 to 27. And put 2 in, that gives me 6. which gives me a third of log of 27 over 6. Now 3 is going to that twice, and 3 is going to that 9. So I want to call it a third of the log of 9 over 2. A third of the log of 9 over 2. Notice this statement here. This was slightly weird. I had a 3 there, so I pretended it was the integral of 3u. So I suppose it becomes log of 3u, but then the 3 goes on the bottom. Um, you could have done it slightly differently, but that's where I've done it. Um, so here's two examples. So notice if I differentiate this, I'm just going to try this. If I differentiate x squared, I get 2x minus 6. And obviously the 7 disappears. That is double that. So this will give me a half the log of the bottom. So this is a nice gentle example, a bit like last time. But now it's between 0 and 1. So between 0 and 1, if I put those in, um, it gives me a half of log, put 1 in, I get 1 plus 7 is 8 minus log 2 minus, if I put 0 in, 0, 0, I get log 7, I think. So I get half a log of 2 7 that's when I join them together. Hopefully you remember that joining together of two logarithms rule. 
<coughs> this gives me, I think I can do this simply again in the form of a log b. So when I integrate this, I get um, the log of the bottom, 4 minus x, between 2 and 0. Um, it says minus x on the bottom, so that presumably makes that a minus at the front. And I'll put the 2 and the 0 there. So my answer becomes minus the log, put 2 in. 4 minus 2 is 2 minus 0 in minus log 4. So really this is log 4 minus log 2. I think it's log 2 when you eventually get to it. Half of log 2, 7. It's and log 2. So I agree with all of that. That's all worked out quite nicely. Now this is really what I'm trying to get at. The double substitutions. And we played around uh, with the old stuff. And when you have to do it twice. You get a double substitution. Notice you define u as before. You differentiate it. But then we've got to do a substitution as well. I'll show you what I mean by that. Here we go. Um, now doing this exactly the same as before, you'd write 2 plus x is u, therefore you differentiate. Actually, it just gives you 1. So therefore dx just becomes this one. Places. It's du over 1, which is just du. So that was nice. So it becomes the integral of x. 2 plus x gives me u to the 6, and dx is du. Now you'll notice that hasn't disappeared there. In the past, we've always had something which cancels with it. Here we don't. So this means on this particular type, we have to go back to our u equals. And our u equals 2 plus x. And I've got an x left over. So just by rearranging this, I reckon u minus 2 equals x. So this becomes the integral of u minus 2 times by u to the 6 du. Now, on the face of it, this is just exactly the same as we started. We had an integral of x, 2 plus x to the 6. But you'll notice, before I had the bracket to the power of 6, and now I have a letter u minus 2 here in the bracket, and it's just a letter u to the 6, and that makes it easier. Because now, effectively, I can multiply those brackets out by the u to the 6. That gives me u to the 7 minus 2u to the 6. Notice no integration has yet taken place. Now I can integrate u to the 8 over 8 minus 2u to the 7 over 7 plus a constant. I finish now with a um, just a reminder that u is 2 plus x. So this is 2 plus x to the 8 over 8 minus 2 2 plus x to the 7 over 7. Now I could factorize this. I'm not sure if I do that. No, I didn't. I just left it like this. You can see there is a power here, 2 plus x to the 7, which goes into both. But I didn't care. I just wrote it like that. So here's another example. Um, and this is the same trick. You try to rewrite it, first of all. 4x, 1 plus 2x to the minus 4. And you say to yourself, I don't like this bracket. u equals 1 plus 2x. Therefore, du by the x equals 2. And dx equals du divided by 2. So we're now in a position to substitute it in. So it's the integral of 4x. The bracket is u to the minus 4. And dx is du over 2. And you'll notice once again, although they cancel, I still have x. And I can't do anything until I get rid of my x. So I go to here and I say, well, if I need to get rid of my x, I okay, can u minus 1 is 2x. I reckon, therefore, half of u minus 1 equals the x. And this allows me to rewrite this as the integral of two lots. Oh, that's handy. Two lots of a half of u minus 1 times by u to the minus 4 du. And this then becomes the integral of u minus 1 times by u to the minus 4 du. And now, oh, it's been a while, I can multiply this out. So u times u to the minus 4 is u to the minus 3, minus u to the minus 4 du. Now I can now I can do my integration. Add the power. Divide by the power. Add the power. Divide by the power. Plus a constant. Now I can get rid of my u's. What was my u? It was 1 plus 2x. So 1 plus 2x. Minus 2 over minus 2. 
like this. Well, it's minus and minus, so it's actually a plus. 1 plus 2x to the minus 3 over minus 3, or over 3, plus a constant. Now I could just tidy it up a bit. I could put the brackets underneath. Let's see what my answers do. And um, yeah, you can just about see that. Well, I do put it underneath, so I write it as, well, I put this one first, well, I should have done, really. But if I do write it like that, that's what I get. So um, hopefully that's your, you're okay with that. And uh, now I want to go on to the, uh, the next example. And it's example three. And you'll just notice it says, show that this equals that. So it looks pretty horrible. Um, so start off with, um, it's the integral of x. 5x minus 2 to the half dx. So obviously I write u equals 5x minus 2. And du by dx is quite simply 5, and therefore dx is du over 5. So we're writing this into here. I get x u to the half du over 5. And it's not very nice. I can take the 5 out to the front, just to deal with that. But the x is still there, so I suppose I need to write this as u plus 2 equals 5x. And if I move the 5 onto the other side as well, I get that. So um, if I take that out, it's the integral of u plus 2 over 5, u to the half du. Bring the 5 to there, and I get a 25th. And this is like in a bracket. So if I multiply that out, it's u to the 1, which gives me u to the 3 over 2, plus 2 u to the half du. So to get that, I get add a power um, and divide by the power. So if I add a power to 1 and a half, I get 2 and a half, 5 over 2. So that makes it 2 fifths of u to the 5 over 2. Now, this gives me one a half, so that's one and a half, three over two, which is two thirds. Sounds like two is four thirds. U to the three over two. There we are. Um, it's not very nice. I can multiply this out, but before I do, actually, I can take out a common factor, and you can see I can take out this is to the th over three, so that's not very nice. Um, but I can take out u to the th 3 over 2. So if I take u to the 3 over 2 over the 25, that leaves 2 fifths of u to the 1, effectively, plus 4 thirds there. Um, now they want it as this horrible answer. So for a start, I suppose the 5x, no, was this 2u to the 5 over 2? No, that's right. Um, if I times, I want to put this over a common factor, I suppose. So if I do u to the 3 over 2 over 25, and I put it all over 15, 15 on the bottom, I've times the bottom by 3, so I get 6u, I've times the bottom 3 by 5 plus 20, I reckon that's the same. 15, 25, I'm hoping that is 375, 15 times 25 is indeed 375. So it's u to the 3 over 2 over 375, 6u plus 20. Now, just to finish with, what was u? u was, well, I've forgotten, 5x minus 2. So it's 5x minus 2 to the 3 over 2 over 375 times by 6 lots of 5x, which is 30x. 6 lots of minus 2 is minus 12 plus a 20. And that is 30x plus 18. And the only thing you can do with that is perhaps take out, I want it, is it plus 18? Um, plus 8. The only thing you can do with that is take out 2 as a common factor, which gives you 2 lots of 15x plus 4, which means I put a 2 there. And that, I reckon, does work. Not very nice, though. So um, there is a, another example. So I might show you that, or I might save that to the lesson and use that as a starter for the lesson. So in the meantime, after this example, there's a, a, we, we're going to look at exercise 11c in class. Quite tricky, but 
doable as long as we practice. So, that's a lot.